Thank you to Diedrich Bank, our sponsor for the 2022-23 basketball season. Live for today, bank for tomorrow, member FDIC.
kind of keeping the lead and not letting the lead get away? The first thing in my mind was we've done this before. We've been down before. Uh, last year at Goreville is a great representation of that. We were down, I think, like 12 or 15, and we came back. So I was like, well, they're only up two, so it, we can do that. It's pretty. Sid did great. She made all her free throws. So that was really nice. Pack played fantastic off defense, I mean, which was great. Everybody contributed. It was just a really good night for us. You guys shot the ball really well from the field, but also from the field of line. What do you credit that to? I credit that to Miss Romack and Mr. James for making us shoot 75 every time at practice. We have to make 75%, otherwise we're running. So that's usually a big motivator. And you can tell from previous games that we've definitely gone up on our um, free throw percentage. What does it mean to you getting back to the super sectional for the second year in a row? It's just really great because... You get to see all of your community come out. We have a fantastic student section, which is amazing. They really do well on the cheers and everything like that. It's just, it really helps within our community. Well, I was really just thinking to stay calm, and I knew God's plan would prevail, and I was just really proud of our team, and I, I knew we could get it back if we worked hard, rebounded, and knocked down our free throws. Well, I mean, you can't win a game with a single person. I mean, everybody that came in the floor tonight did an amazing job. I'm super proud of them, and I, I just thank God for this opportunity and the way my teammates played. I mean, it was great to win against a great team, but ultimately, I think it was our fans. I mean, I don't know if you saw our student section, but they were they were packed and it was amazing. Our team really wanted to focus on rebounding and knowing that if we uh, could drive, we could get to the line and we knew they would foul us. So. Um, it's just amazing like that we can accomplish like this. Like, just, I, don't, I have no words right now. It's just amazing. Our, I swear our whole town is here. It's just amazing. Our student section is phenomenal. Like, I, we have the whole section pulled up. It's just amazing. It's so loud in here. It just, it's awesome. Um, we just knew that we had to give it our all. We had to give it 100% and that we weren't going to let them have it. Um, well, we weren't really getting frustrated at all because we've been struggling with that this year, getting down, getting frustrated at one another. And I think right now we're kind of hitting our peak with frustration. We're not getting frustrated. You're down. You can still get back up and get on top with rebounds and good defense, and that's what we did tonight. Down the stretch, free throws were huge for you guys. They're, what do you credit that to? Um, I credit it to our offense. You know, we worked on that during practice, and we scouted them before, and they had made more free throws than we had attempted. So we knew we had to take it to them because then they would foul. So we practiced that during um, practice, and it worked out for us tonight. Um, it means a, a lot. It almost brings me to tears because I told I told the team tonight, I was like, I'm going to cry either way, so it doesn't really matter. But um, there's no other group I'd rather do this with. I mean, they're amazing. I love every single one of them equally. So it's going to be huge, and I hope we go even further. You know, we knew coming out we were going to have to be tough on both ends of the floor and, and take care of the ball. That was the biggest key for us is, you know, handling, handling and taking care of the pressure. Um, and when, you know, when we needed to, we were able to. <laughs> I don't know because, <laughs> you know, we shoot a lot during practice and I'm not sure it always goes so well. But it seems to be when we get in pressure situations at the end of the game, we're able to knock enough down to make it matter. But I would like our free throw percentage to be a little bit higher. <laughs> that was it. We wanted to come out and win the third and we didn't. Um, so fourth quarter, it's you gotta gotta come out and you gotta win the quarter. You gotta take care of business. Um, and these guys have been here before. They know what they're you know they know what to expect. They know what to do. They've played this team before. Um, and you know it just came down to this was hats off to Tuscola. They're tough. And this just came down to us being able to get that lead at the end when it and when we needed it and knock down a few free throws. Taking care of the ball in key moments. And and again we we struggled at that at times. So it was it was neck and neck in December and it was neck and neck here and it, that. Play that game ten times is probably going to go five and five. Your your dreams as as you coach, you know, you want to make an influence on kids, and you know, you want to you want to build better women to go out into the world. Um, and when the postseason stuff is is a nice thing to do too. Um, never do you think that you're going to get into this situation. So um, we don't take it for granted, and we just live every moment of it. Sid's expected to do a lot, you know. I mean, that kid is bringing the ball up the floor. She's rebounding. She's shooting. She's our leading scorer, leading rebound. She's got a lot going on, um, and we need the rest of them to step up. And, and Bryn was able to knock down some shots tonight. Pack and Sam are always great defensively. And then, you know, we whatever we can get out of everybody goes in as a team win. Yeah, she, like I said, she can do anything. Um, and, and she has really turned it on here, especially in the second half of the season. She's she's a ball handler at six foot tall. She's a, she's a defender. She's a rebounder. Um, you know, we, and to top it off, she's a great kid. We all do. We love our small town. Um, you know, we've got great support. Our student section was phenomenal again tonight. 
Um, they really picked it up last year in the in the postseason for us. Even when the boys were playing regional on the same night, those junior high kids stepped in, and now we've got all of them together, and it's fantastic.